Welcome to the vlog guys. So today is a reading vlog and I am reading, as you saw, Crying in H Mart. And I kid you not, five minutes into it, I was crying on the street. Like it, it, oh, it hits you so hard. And I'm gonna talk about it in a second. But this is actually my first like experience with, even though this is a memoir, um, I, it's like, a, it's different from, non-fiction like just giving us facts about things in life so if i am listening to an audiobook i typically can only listen to non-fiction like it's so so difficult for me to get into um fiction or memoirs but this book <laughs> is so good so engaging um the author michelle zahner narrates it it's stunning it's been so windy all day i'm trying to like speak in between the gusts of wind um but one thing that i found has been super helpful for me um in getting into reading audiobooks in case you guys are also struggling um is drawing at the same time or doing something with my hands um and so i go on walks which i'm doing right now but as you saw in the cafe I was drawing and if you like me are not naturally artistically inclined and you just don't even know where to start when it comes to art um this video is sponsored by skillshare and skillshare is an online learning community i talk about them all the time you guys know in my writing vlogs and my other reading vlogs i love their creative writing courses they have some stellar poets like absolutely mind bending what am i trying to say like incredible teachers in these classes um but they also have an incredibly rich art category i have started taking this particular watercolor class which has been so fun it's called watercolor in the woods and it is a cottagecore dream um absolutely beautiful it's taught by rosalie who's a watercolor am i gonna die wind did not come to play today um anyway i just I highly, highly recommend the course. Just check it out. Especially for spring, summer, it focuses a lot on like going into nature and learning how to draw like natural life, um, which is really cool. So anyway, that's my little plug for Skillshare. You know that I hype them up all the time. If you finally want to try them, there will be a link in my description box. Um, and the first 1,000 people to click that link will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership, so access to everything. This is not the first, and it will not be the last time that I have hyped up Skillshare, so yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for sponsoring this and now we are heading to the river where it's gonna be windy so I'm not gonna talk and uh, but we're still gonna listen and we're still gonna cry so Thank you. 
everyone. <coughs> it's me. Um, so I now have two hours and 30 minutes left. I ended up not listening to a lot on the bus just because it was so depressing. Um, so I'm on chapter 13 out of 20. I am just getting to the part where we actually learn about her, her mother is probably moments from death. And so I don't know if I really explained what this book is about. This book is by Michelle Zahner, who is also known as Japanese Breakfast. She is a musician and I didn't know, first of all, I didn't know that Japanese Breakfast was a solo project. Second of all, I didn't know that um, Michelle Zahner was half Korean, half Jewish American. Um, and yeah, so I've, I have her songs on playlists on Spotify, but I did not know who she was. Um, and so this book first starts out, like the first chapter is her crying in H Mart. Um, and if you don't know what H Mart is, it's um, all over the United States. I don't know if it's in other places, but um, it's a Korean market. And so typically it will have, usually it's just like a grocery store. And then there's also a food court, um, which you would probably have like a boonshik place and then like a jjigae place and usually there's a pair of spaghetti in there she just pretty much explains how important of a place that is for her growing up um and how her mother their relationship like the way that her mom really showed that she cared was through food um not only to michelle but to like anyone in her life when i say that it had me crying in like five minutes literally like she just kind of hits you over the head with what you're in for you know i think the thing that really got me was she was talking about like she was sitting in h mart and she just saw this group of like really 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 old korean women eating in the food court and how her mom would never be one of those old women <laughs> oh no <laughs> i didn't want to actually cry in this video um she just like yeah she just doesn't hold back as far as like the things that make her cry and i was stupid and i i decided to start this audiobook um by like going for a walk in the park and i was just walking in the park sobbing <laughs> um so yeah but then let me look at the chapters so i thought it was paced really really well um so it basically just talks about crying in h mart it's kind of the thesis statement right it tells you what you're getting into um and then it goes into her childhood and her relationship with her mom kind of from when she was a baby um until she got sick and um it kind of touches on topics as far as her never really feeling like she belonged because when she would go back to korea she was always the weird american girl and when she would go back to um, her hometown in Oregon she was like the weird possibly Chinese girl um, like to the community and her mom was kind of harsh with her as far as like wanting her to be this perfect person um, and so Michelle ends up rebelling a lot and their relationship was so rocky and once her mom finds out about the cancer her life Michelle's life completely turns around and she ends up moving back across country and there's a whole nother host of struggles when it comes to being a caretaker for your mom and your mom doesn't want you to be the caretaker but you also it it was it, the way that she talked about like that specific struggle of like wanting her mom to be comfortable and have the help that she needs but also wanting to be that help and then having to realize that she couldn't be that help um and like having all these horrible feelings of like jealousy towards her mom's friends and and stuff like that um that was a really hard section to read and then it kind of gets a little bit more joyful when it talks about her like kind of shotgun not shotgun wedding but like having a really quick wedding with her boyfriend um now husband um in order to give her mom something to look forward to and so that was kind of like there was a lot of hope um and now we're kind of entering this part where her mom is in the steady decline and there's really they're just kind of sitting around waiting which is very hard to listen to it's very sad um but looking at the chapters i actually hadn't looked at the names of the chapters yet um also i do want to say that like the way that she writes is really 
beautiful it's also narrated by her so it feels like she's just you're kind of like in a bar and she's just kind of telling you her life story um it's really engaging super super easy to listen to uh, i mean not easy but like <clears throat> and um the way she describes korean food oh my god like i'm i'm crying but i'm also hungry <laughs> while listening to this um if that makes any sense but I'm actually really excited because I didn't, like I said, I didn't look at the chapters yet, um, but the chapter 18 talks about Mangchi, my favorite Kore uh, YouTuber who does like Korean cooking. Um, she's the one who taught me how to make all of my first Korean dishes as well. Um, so I'm excited that she's gonna get a shout out. But yeah, right now I'm just listening to possibly the heaviest chapter. It's literally called a heavy hand. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to finish it all today, but I do just want to kind of maybe end it here because I'm not going to, I mean, it, you can't really spoil this, but I do just want to give you like wholeheartedly, this has been heartbreaking, but also so comforting. And so I'm like, when I get on the verge of tears, I have to like cry or not cry and i'm kind of like hovering in that in-between status so if my voice sounds funny that's why yeah it's just it's a really really beautiful book i obviously can't fathom her experiences of struggling with her identity um but definitely just like anyone who's been a teenager who's been a teenage girl with a mom um like there are so many things you can relate to and like I said, the way that she wrote this, the flow of it, I just think that the, like from beginning to end, it just makes sense and it's engaging and there's a lot of like hope and happiness, but it's a lot of, a lot of sadness. Crying in H Mart. I cannot recommend it highly enough. Um, I'm gonna finish painting, doing some watercolor, um, and I'm gonna read this for the rest of the day. Once again, speaking of watercolor, I do want to give a one last shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this. The first 1,000 people to click the link in my description box will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. And after that, it's like $10 a month. I'm telling you, there's something about doing a little bit of mindless art while you are listening to an audiobook that is just so good for your mental health. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend. And um, man, crying in H Mart, what? such a good memoir so anyway i'm going to leave you here now but thank you for joining me and um yeah i will see you guys next time so